Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here with another simple paracord tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this which is a bugle braid, also known as a military bugle braid and uh, as the name would suggest this is uh, the sort of braid you would see on instruments in the military band and uh, yeah it's quite a nice decorative piece, can be used in bracelets, lanyard fobs, anything you want really. Uh, right off the bat I would say I don't make the world's neatest particularly when I only have a few minutes to make these videos uh, but I can certainly show you the technique how to do it and if you do have the time uh, it's definitely worth going a bit slower on this and making sure you get it nice and even uh, for the best results in the end but as I say I'm in a bit of a hurry so uh, that's pretty much what we're going to look to make that is a finished one let's get rid of that piece of cord and get a fresh piece so I just have a couple of feet here uh, paracord is uh, maybe not the most suited material for making these braids it works better with a thicker diameter uh, soft rope um, because it kind of forms together a little nicer but you certainly can do it with paracord and as I say, it makes quite a nice decorative piece for, for various uses. So I can start with the cord and fold it uh, as you see here. It doesn't need to be particularly even because we're going to work that out later. And uh, with my dominant or working hand, my right hand, we're going to take two cords like this. And we're going to take the top cord underneath the bottom one, like so. And uh, we're just going to wrap that up and over the whole piece. So you have one twist like that. So let's wait for my camera to focus here if it's going to. Come on, there we go. And we're going to do that again. So go back under the top cord. And as you come around, try and keep this on the outside of the first turn you made. Okay? So we're going to take that up, around, and over, like so. So you should have that there. And then we're just going to take this working end, come around the back, and up through the middle here. Okay? So we've just gone through the, the two loops that we just made. And I'm trying to keep this end quite nice and short. Uh, as you can see, I didn't leave myself a whole lot extra there. And then I'm going to use the top piece we have just to pull that knot fairly snug. So you should have something that looks like that. Okay, get the focus again. And on the back, it should look something like so. And then we're just going to take this cord here and use that to adjust our loop. And we're going to pull this loop in quite close, like that. And that is basically the start of our, our bugle cord. Now, the length of this piece here is entirely up to you. I've left it like that because I've been making something like a, uh, basically like a lanyard out of this, or a key fob. And let me just show you on here. This is the starting piece on this one. And you see I've left a longer tail here, which you could use to attach this onto a bag or something. If you want to make this as like a flash of color on the handle of your gear bag or something. And this is the, going to be their working end. So however much cord you use is however much you're going to have on that end. So... In this case I've left it much shorter because I would have this snipped off and singed and then on here I would attach this to my key clip or whatever. So just a note, uh, make sure that this length is what you want it or feed through how much you want through that knot first before you get started because that is what you'll end up with on one end. So just worth bearing in mind. So we're going to take this left hand loop here and just tease that out a little, little bit and make a little loop like so. And then we're going to take our working cord here and just bend it over like that. Okay. Grab that loop and feed it through the first one of these. Okay, so you've got that going through there. And then we're going to take that down through here. And as you can see, if I pull on this loop here, it's just going to tighten that up. Okay. And then we use this cord again to adjust the size of the loop we have on this end. Now, basically, when we make our braid, this is what we're going to be doing each time. That is the only move you have to do. So we're going to make a loop, feed through there, feed through there, and repeat. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either each time adjust this loop to sort of the, roughly the size you want for how loose a braid you want to see on the other side. Um, or you can feed through, pull all your slack through, and tighten it up as you go. I prefer to just keep this loop a regular size each time. And it just makes it a little bit quicker to make. And I don't think... Uh, the results suffer from that. It's not something you have to be pulling super tight, so here again I'm going to just pull that a little bit, okay, so that this piece tightens up, uh, but it doesn't squash everything, and then I'm just going to use this or working cord to adjust the size of the loop. So each move we take this, pinch it like that, feed it through the loop that's second from this end, okay, and then down through our loop that's furthest to that end. And then pull that through so it tightens up, but not so it squashes everything. And then adjust back. Okay? 
So I'm going to do just a couple more. So through this loop, my camera will come back and focus. There we go. Through this loop, down through here. So you just keep making a loop, keep feeding it through. Like so. so I'm just doing this quite quickly. This will look a little rough when we turn it over. I'll tell you that right now. But I just want to, you know, do a few stitches so you can see how quickly this forms. So when you want to finish it off, all you're going to do is instead of making a loop with your working end, you're just going to take it and feed it, feed it one single end through that loop, and then down through the bottom there. Okay. And then when we turn it over, pull that a little bit tighter, you should see we have our braid pattern. Okay, simple as that. And as I say, um, the piece of cord you use for this, uh, leave yourself enough so you have enough on this end to do whatever you want with. And same on here if you did want to fashion it into something other than just a key fob. But uh, it looks a little strange on this side perhaps, but a nice regular uh, V-shaped pattern on here. Again, look, could look pretty cool in a bracelet or something like that. And uh, what I'm going to do is just put that down, just show you the starting knot one more time. Let me just grab a piece of cord here. Uh, I'm just going to pause this. Okay, got my cord to show you. Um, so to start it off, remember, we just take our cord, uh, double it over, and then our top cord we take in our, top, in our working hand. And we're going to go underneath the bottom one. Get the focus, come back on the camera. Come on. There we go, and then we're going to loop that round over the two cords again, like so. Okay, so you have one loop round, and then we're going to repeat that and make a second loop outside the first one. So you can see we're coming around the outside of the first loop we made, back up and over. So you should have two loops that look like that, like that, and then you're going to go round. And you're going to come up through the two loops you just made, grab that end, and then just work everything tight. Pull this end a little bit more this time. Should end up with a knot like that. Okay. Cross on the back, two barrels in the front. Uh, take your working end, it should be on the top, and we're just going to pull that loop through tight. Now remember, this loop is the size you want to maintain all the way through the bracelet, so pull it down to where it's about where you want it. Slacken off this piece a little bit, this first uh, first loop round. Pinch the top cord and feed it through that loop there. Oops. If I've made it big enough, which I may not have. Stretch it out a little bit more. Top cord, feed it through there. Come on. There we go. And then we're going to feed that down through the bottom loop. And grab it on the other side, pull that through. So now this should still be slightly loose uh, around here for our next stitch. And once you get this started, things become a lot easier. Pull back your tension uh, until you have this loop about the size you want. Make a pinch a loop again through that second one, down through there. Uh, snug it up, adjust that, and repeat. So there you go, you can see it's already starting there on that side. This is our tail this time, and whatever we have left by the time we've done the number of stitches we want will be our tail on the other end with this working end. So there you have it guys, bugle braid. Sorry that took a little bit longer than I expected. I just wanted to show you uh, getting it started twice there. Uh, hopefully make it a little bit easier for you guys to figure out. And if you do get stuck, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help. And uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.